Welcome back. Next Saturday, Granville Academy in Waterbury will holding what it's calling its first ever Circles of Love meeting. And it's a community faith-based program that seeks to help young boys develop a thirst for reading. And here to tell us more about it is attorney Maurice Mosley, president of the Academy, and one of the students. Shugas, how are you this morning? I'm doing fine today. You're doing good. Um, attorney Mosley, talk to us first about the reading. It's not just for the young boys, it's to get their parents involved, a connection. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, we find that in um, the urban areas, our youngsters are not reading. And um, our project is to save boys and get them to read. Uh, this Saturday coming up at 10 o'clock at the Hopkins Street Center, uh, the elders in our community, um, the pastors and other older gentlemen, are having a reading circle. They'll be reading to young boys and their parents. And the purpose is to develop a reading desire in our young folks. Um, it's really a preliminary to our major conference. We're having a major conference on the 21st of this month, Saturday, at, at um, 7.30 a.m. at the Warrior B. Arts Bagging School. And the purpose of the uh, conference is to get adult males of color to be involved with young people. Our young boys of color are falling off a cliff. Only 47% are graduating high school. And most and of reading is critical to oh, keep them involved. No, no, no question. Now, Sugars, we know you like to read, because you told me you like to read any kind of book. It doesn't matter what kind. But why do you think other boys your age maybe don't read? Are they playing video games? What do they do instead of read, you think? Because when you read, it's, it's not really that popular. You don't do anything. You're just sitting there looking at a book. And then when you have a video game, you're moving your hands, and you don't have to sit down. So you're pretty much just having fun when you're doing video games instead of reading. But what do you get when you read? Is the fun in your mind? What do you like about reading? It's not the fact that I like reading. It's more the fact that our mom tells me to read because oh, it's going to help. Okay. Me. It's going to help me in the long run, she says. But when you you're supposed to read because it helps you. Attorney Mosley, what do you think him reading now? Where will that benefit him? As not just reading in school, but reading on his own. Oh well, it's a big picture. Granville Academy. 90% of our youngsters, and it goes from 5th grade to 12th grade, 90% of them go to college. So that's the whole purpose of Granville, to get them prepared for college. But the key thing about reading, it unlocks the, unlocks the ideas in your head. All these young men and young girls, because our program is both girls and boys, but um, this, week, uh, this weekend is going to be about boys, because they're, they're the ones that are in trouble. But reading unlocks all the ideas in your head and allows you to live a, a, a fruitful life. Because many young boys have great ideas in their head, but if you don't read to develop the vocabulary, you can never express your ideas. Now, this our program is viewed statewide. Yes, so, what would your tip be? Quick few tips to parents who are trying to get their son to be like Sugar's here and read on his own. Okay. What's well, a quick tip? Well, you have to e expose them to good literature. Uh, for example, there's a book called Secret Saturdays. Okay. Okay. Secret Saturdays. Secret Saturdays. It's a great book. It's about um, uh, sixth grade students. Okay. Also, there's a book called I Got Bank. It teaches fifth graders all about how to handle money. Well, uh, I should read that yes, one. I mean, it's, it's a great book, and we're going to be exposing that book uh, to our youngsters um, this summer. So really, the key thing is good content, um, exposing you know, youngsters to interesting content. Sugar, sure, you said your mother makes you read, but yeah. when you start reading a book, do you find now that you're reading without having to be told to do it? Sometimes if it's a, a very interesting, if it really like picks at my interest, then I'll read it more often. But if it's just one of those books that you just get, I'll probably read it every once in a while, but I'll finish it and soon. And you told me you like to go to the library. Is that where you get most of your books? Yeah, yeah. I do. And how do you choose your book? Um, I choose my book based on the children's um, um, section. The, yes, yeah. the children's section. And when I look around, I just find the book that most picks at my interest, and then I just take it out. And if it doesn't, you can always bring it back and get a new one. That's the best thing about the library. So um, now, is this going to be a statewide program? Oh, yes. It's a statewide uh, program. Also, the May 21st is a statewide conference. To, what we want to do is develop a whole army of mentors that are going to work with our young boys throughout the year. We've had, we're going to have follow-up activities. For example, on July 23rd, we hope to take two busloads of adult men and youngsters like Sugars to the Harlem Book Festival in New York. Oh, 
wow. when they're going to be immersed in the culture of, of reading and, and literary um, you know, act, activities. Uh, if a youngster reads, he's going to do well in school and going to do well in life. And we're, um, our intent is to go after these young boys to make them scholars because we know they have that ability. That's right. Well, we thank you for coming in this morning. What book are you reading right now? Um, I'm actually reading The Million Dollar Throw. What's it about? It's about a kid named Nate who's just in the middle. He plays football, but he's trying to figure out who he is, and at the same time, he does not know who he is. So he plays football to get his head clear, and then after a while, he's drafted, as you would say, to throw a million dollar throw. Oh, well, I'd like to know how that went in. What would your tip be to kids out there who are your age that say, yeah, I don't want to read, I'd rather play PlayStation? What would you tell them? Mm. I'd probably tell them to just look for the book that sounds the most interesting and pick that one. Because you can't play video games for life, right? No, you can't. You can't. you got to read. All right. Well, Sugars, thanks for coming in this morning. It was Thank a pleasure you. to meet you. Very polite young man, and I'm glad that you're reading. Okay. Tony Mosley, thanks for being here. My pleasure as always. We appreciate it. Okay. So pick up a book. Read to, read to a kid that you know. If you want more information on the Circles of Love and their Repairing the Breach program, Go to our website, WTNH.com, and we'll put you for a link because they have uh, something coming up next week and as well as their conference set for May 21st. Yes. All right. Thanks. We appreciate that so much.